So a little, about, a little bit about Mexican cuisine. It's almost like uh, people think it's burritos and tacos, and rice and beans. It's not, that's Tex-Mex. That's not Mexican cuisine. It doesn't come burritos from Mexico. But um, about Mexican cuisine, it's just like United States. You have California coastal cuisine. You have New York. You have your Texas barbecue. You have different types of areas of the country. Same thing with Mexico. You have Baja, Cal you have Baja Mexico. You have Oaxaca. You have all of these different type of uh, city, uh, cities and states, which is very different. So everybody has their own traditional flavors. I have a lot of favorite ingredients. One in particular that we use here that I rarely see around, it's the avocado leaf. Avocado leaf, it's an ingredient that they use in the south part of Mexico. Uh, we're making our frijoles, our beans. Um, I would have to say kind of a Oaxacan style. They use the avocado leaf, that hint of um, chile de arbol just to give it that, that nice kick of a spiciness. So that would be one of my, my favorite um, ingredients I like to work with. My favorite ingredient, and it just recently it just, it just happened, is uh, the piloncillo. This is unprocessed sugar. It's a sugar cane. So this, I mean, it, we make jokes about it. We call it the, the magic stick, because it fixes everything. So in Mexican cuisine, we have, uh, we use this in the mole, we use this in tomatillo sauce, and lots of things. So the tomatillo sauce, it tends to get a little bit of acidity, and it, we just scrape it on a microplane, and then it makes it so, so refreshing. So that's why we call it the magic stick. But um, this is piloncillo. So those of you at home chefs, I recommend it. It's one of the best. If you're gonna do this for a living, you gotta love it. I mean, there's no other way to, that's my best tip to any home cook out there. If you wanna do this, you have to have a passion for it. Okay. My favorite knife, of course, I have it tattooed on my neck. It's the shun, and that's the shun onion. Of course, it's discontinued. I have the last one. But um, then again, for those of you that are looking for a knife, that's a really nice knife, but um, you know, there's, there's other sets. Um, I remember growing up, I bought my first knife, it was uh, $15. That knife, I still have it, and it lasted me forever. So it's not about getting the most expensive knife, it's about how you take care of your knife, and how you sharpen it, and how you always, you know, it's like a sword, like a Japanese samurai. Uh, they, they take care of their sword. Uh, being a chef, I take care of my knives, and for those of you at home cooks or upcoming chefs, treat your knife, even if it's $15 to $300, take care of your knives because it's the thing that's right next to you, always.